We're now going to connect the extension to the cocoon. Uh, this one's an XL in the background, but it'll fit all the uh, cocoon breezes exactly the same, and we'll show you how to do it. So, in the bag, your extension will be tied up, like so, and just roll it out. Isn't that? Like so. And the inflatable beam goes at the front of the extension. So make sure that's always at the front because when you zip it on, it'll be the wrong way around. So to connect the extension, you have to take down these guidelines here and roll up the flap and unpeg these parts here and roll these up as well and we'll do that now. So to do that you just fold it in half and in half again and then wrap it around your fingers and tie it like so. In half half again, wrap it around your fingers and tighten. And then this just rolls up and underneath you'll find a loop and a toggle and you just secure it in place. For that you might want to just throw your guy rope inside just so it's out of the way. Same again this side, I'm going to roll it tightly so we find the loop and toggle, push it through and then tuck the guy rope inside. These straps that are left, we're going to use these later on the front of the extension. So we unclip those for now, but we will be using them, so keep them handy. We're now at the point where we need to zip on the extension. So, so on the inside, on the outside of the cocoon, there is a zip track which is underneath an elastic band. This then is where the zip track for the extension will connect. So you will have two runners at the bottom there. You have to have both of them at this point to be able to connect the zip. So if you push the zip there, then it will easily zip on and just slowly pull. There is two pulleys so you can do it through the, from the inside or the outside it's easier doing it from the inside and you just follow it round so once that's fully zipped round what you'll then need to do is get your pump from earlier. Again, with your valve. Find the valve on the extension, which is on the other side. Screw the valve in, like we did on the beams beforehand. Open the top cap, and then screw it on, and begin to start inflating. And I will help the beam up, just to make it a bit easier. Okay, okay, and then we've got our straps at the front here that have been clipped on. 
and when Chris has put the valve closed, we can pull this out and Chris will take that strap. And I can peg this one. There is also a third strap in the middle. And then you have your two triangular straps on the side, which again, you want to loosen it off as much as possible so that you can get your bottom strap nice and tight. Put your peg through the loop, like so. And then tighten your strap off so that it's just supporting again, not actually pulling on the beam. And I've just pegged out, there's a strap at the front and there's two eyelets in there to peg it out so you don't trip over the strap when you're walking in. And then the last thing to do is on the side, just at the base, there's an elastic toggle, which we're just going to put into the ground like that, just so that we're keeping it tight and protected. This, this also comes with an additional ground sheet that fits in this area here. And also your door for your cocoon, you can either leave it in this position or move it to the front. And with the ground sheet, it gives you a larger living area for the cocoon. Or if it's sunny, nice day, you would leave it the door at the back there. There is also the option to buy an additional extra door. So you can have one door in the front and then keep your one door in there as well and have two doors.